I used to work in New Canaan and had worked with Wildlife in Crisis on two previous owl releases, one a great horned owl and one another time two barred owls. And it was such an inspirational site and it was so wonderful to partner with this terrific nonprofit. And I know that they often have rehabilitated owls that are ready to be released into the wild and need just the right location, a combination of a field surrounded by trees. And so when I took a look around the campus here at Fairfield Country Day School, it looked to me like a great place for owls to make their new habitat. So I reached out to Wildlife in Crisis and they agreed. They chose the site based on Google Earth satellite picture, which is great technology these days. And here we are tonight, going to release two healthy barred owls. Behind, now, behind this practice field is where they're going to basically throw the owls up into the air and help them find a tree. And they need to be in a wooded area, but they also need to be near fields because that's where the mice and other uh, animals are that are their, their prey. So they need to have a combination of fields and trees. And we've got a good number of kids here tonight. We do. We have kids that are already having a great time and the owls have not even made their appearance. So I would say we, we have you know, close to 50 people already and the owls are not even here yet. So we're really excited. Uh, both of these owls were hit by cars. Unfortunately, that's a very common occurrence uh, doing what we do. We get a lot of animals that are hit by cars. Uh, both of these owls were brought to us uh, to Wildlife in Crisis. Uh, one had a wing fracture, one had a leg fracture. Um, these fractures take many months to heal. So these owls were with us uh, for about six, six to eight months. Um, and eventually they were put in a flight cage outside to uh, build up their flight muscles and re you know, regrow any feathers that had been lost. Um, but they were ready to go and uh, we like to bring them back where they came from. And one of them had been from Fairfield. So we're bringing him back to Fairfield. Um, and the other one, they had become bonded in the flight cage. So we like to keep them together. They're very social owls. <laughs> That's why we release them together. Male and female. Male and female. Yep, the male was from Fairfield, the female was from Westport. <laughs> how often, or uh, how long is the healing time, the rehabilitation time? When you're dealing with broken bones, it's many months because you have muscle atrophy, you know, as those bones heal, so then you have to keep them long enough for those muscles to redevelop. If someone should happen upon an injured owl, what should they do? Um, they can give us a call at Wildlife in Crisis. Our phone number is 203-544-9913. Um, these are birds of prey, so you have to be very careful. They do have talons. Um, often when people are finding these animals, they're debilitated. Obviously, if they're hit by cars, they also have head injuries, etc. So, you know, they're not you know, likely to harm you. But you have to be very careful if you're handling these animals. You have to wear, you know, leather gloves, you have to cover them with a towel. But we ask people to give us a call first before they rescue any animal and see if the animal actually is in need of rescue. And the odds of these uh, thriving is, is good at this it's point? It's very good. We have a very good success rate with these animals. These are both mature owls. They came to us as adults, so they know what to do. They know how to hunt. Um, so we have, we have high hopes for their success. Thank you. Beautiful campus with beautiful trees where a lot of animals, I'm sure, nest and live. So let's hope this guy has a long, happy life too. And on the count of three, I'm going to leave him go. One, two, three. Wow! 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 Wow